All right, so now we're going to cover how to install the Captain Marvel ramp fix. Um, there's a couple different ways you can install this. Um, if you look here on the inside of the Captain Marvel ramp, there's a piece of mylar. So this is how your package is going to come. And everything that you're going to get is here and you're going to need uh, the mylar, the toothpick, and these basically black little foam things. And I will explain those when we get to that point. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the gauntlet habit trail. It's held on by two screws, one here, one back here, and then a nut right here. And once we remove those three items, this whole habit trail will just slide out of the way and give us easy access to the area we want to address. So I'm going to remove this and then I will come right back. Yeah. So we have our, our Captain Marvel ramp fix. We have our piece of mylar. So this is where you guys have to kind of make a decision on which way you guys want to go. Um, so the mylar is there for one reason or two reasons. The mylar is there to protect the paint on the inside of the Captain Marvel ramp. But you can also use it as an adhesive to pull the, the fix closer to the ramp. On my game, I have it with the mylar attached to the inside of the ramp. Um, I had it the other way also. I didn't really sh see any big difference. So it's really up to you. Um, I would say if you're going to attach the mylar to the inside of the ramp, you're probably going to have to take off the shield. Um, it was kind of a pain because all this stuff is all kind of like connected together. So I would probably just go with the mylar on the outside of the Captain Marvel ramp. So we're going to attach this to the Captain Marvel ramp, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our ramp, we have our mylar on there, nice and smooth, protecting the paint. Now we're going to install the fix. So how I do it is I kind of come around behind and kind of come in at, at this angle, and then it kind of just sits in there. And then I kind of compress this foam and push the fix down, and it kind of sits on top of the opto. So now is where the toothpick and the foam little inserts come in handy. So see how we have a little bit of play here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these foam inserts and we're gonna push them down in here into this hole. We're gonna get it nice and snug. That's it. So after you know we get our fix in, uh, we're gonna reinstall our gauntlet ramp, and obviously it goes back the same way it came. Back through here, down in there. Line everything back up, put your screws back in, and you'll be good to go. Um, there's, there's, it's, it's not that hard to install. You know, I mean, you can install it without taking out the gauntlet ramp. Uh, I've done it a hundred times in and out. Um, I just feel it's easier to access it with the gauntlet ramp obviously with the game off and um i'm sure you guys know how to remove the glass and stuff you know i'd probably recommend dropping 
um, the disc, you know, so if you're taking off this nut, you don't want to drop it into the cavern where you can't get it back out again from. So, but that's it guys. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you have any questions, you can PM me on Pinside. Um, it made a world of difference for my game. I'm sure it's going to make a world of difference for your guys' games. Um, it's an awesome fix. It makes the game really, really fun now. Less rejects. Like, a lot, lot less rejects. But, hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, uh, just PM me.